All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And, fellas, I got an OG uh, red gun gameplay here. I hopped on Black Ops 4 last night, and I was like, you know what, man? Let me try busting out the AK-47. It's been a while since I played with anything that's not a shotgun. <laughs> Thank you, skill-based matchmaking, for integrating ranked play into pubs and making every single match an absolute uh, sweat fest. But... Yeah, here on Black Ops 4, man, the lobbies are pretty chill. The lo it doesn't seem like SBMM is uh, working overtime. Like I said, man, SBMM didn't really come into play until, like, MW 2019. Like, it's always been in COD, but it just seems like from MW 2019, Cold War and Van Garbage, uh, it just seems like it's been ratcheted up to, like, 11. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The SBMM is like a solid 6 over here on Black Ops 4, which is just perfect. Anyway... Uh, guys, I want to talk a little bit about the new movement system that is coming to Modern Warfare 2022. And oh my goodness, man, it looks pretty damn interesting. I will say that at least. So I was bored as hell on Twitter looking for any kind of content I could find to make a video because like it's so hard for me to even remotely come upon anything I find interesting to talk about call of duty related for a call of duty video uh, it seems like everybody all the streamers all the big money youtubers they all they care about warzone and i know why because the views are like i don't know 50 times higher for warzone content than multiplayer nobody cares about multiplayer anymore nope uh, can't say i blame them to be honest <laughs> but um i saw this man this dude the homie ralph's valve talking about the new movement system in modern warfare 2022 and let me tell you guys something right now fellas Oh my goodness. Let's let's get into it, man. Let's peel it back layer by layer. So it looks like we've got Modern Warfare 2 new gameplay and movement system with a picture of Mirror's Edge? Is Activision copying dice yet again? Ha! Come on now, son. Or as Chris Jericho would say, again? <laughs> you copying dice again? Come on now, son. With Modern Warfare 2's launch fast approaching, some questions remain. What strides are Infinity Ward? taking to make modern warfare 2 a fresh experience let's make it like mirror's edge that's pretty fresh similar to its predecessor infinity ward plans to refine its parkour system yes <laughs> yes yes all you guys know that watch my live comms there's plenty of parkouring sweats in the lobbies over on modern warfare 2019 the parkour pro uh, there's tons of parkour it's, it's crazy but modern warfare 2 part 2 electric boogaloo uh, is going to have even more it's gonna have even more parkour, baby. It's exactly what we wanted. We didn't want pro perks and cool stuff like that. We wanted more parkour. So, drawing inspiration from Mirror's Edge Catalyst, as well as introduction of all new features and mechanics. Here's the scoop. All right, guys. So, yeah, let's go down to the movement system here. First of all, we're going to have ladders and ropes in Modern Warfare 2022. With ladders, you'll be able to vertically position the equipment alongside walls. Ah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> containers and buildings. If not supported, it will fall and shatter, causing the field upgrade to reset. Come on, bro. A ladder field upgrade? Seriously? For ropes, you'll be able to rappel down and scale up buildings with this tool <laughs> while rappelling. Players can also swing through windows or into collapsed walls. Yo. That's just what we need, man. More random people appearing out of nowhere. Yes. Yes. You can also uh, attach the rope to vehicles and players allowing for quick getaway for down players. Obviously, that would be a good feature for Snore Zone, which I don't play. Uh, it'll probably be in multiplayer, too. Oh, that'd be funny, man. Seeing these sweats just uh, tether uh, downed people to other players' ankles and having them run, <laughs> dragging them behind them. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, shifting and strafing. Oh, this sounds like it's going to be complete AIDS. Strafing lets you move sideways in any direction as well as backwards. Say you get too close to a threat or you turn a corner where you're at a disadvantage. You can shift out of the area to clear some space and get better view of your options and surroundings. Yo, this shift feature with uh, the lag is going to be incredible. There's going to be plenty of uh, Goku instant transmission sound effects in my videos coming uh, coming in 2022, fellas. I'm calling that right now when this game drops. <laughs> Wall climb. 
players will be able to vertically clamber up walls. This feature is determined by the height of the platform you're trying to reach and mount. Yo, we're going to have dudes going up ladders and ropes, shifting and strafing all over the place, and wall climbing like Spider-Man in Call of Duty. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the good part yet, fellas. I haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet. Spider-Man Pro <laughs> coming to COD. Oh, my. You're going to have dudes swinging into <laughs> holes and ropes. Basically, with Mirror's Edge. Just like, this game sounds like Spider-Man, not Mirror's Edge, homie. All right, so, guys, let's move on to the more interesting movements here. We've got ledge hanging. Thank God, man. I've been saying for years, we need ledge hanging in COD. Call of Duty save, people. We got ledge hanging. Oh, thank goodness. Finally, it's going to be the best COD ever. Oh my. <laughs> You'll be able to... <laughs> Ledge hanging, you'll be able to hang off and grab onto ledges. Call it Call of Duty's newest mechanic that allows players to reach for impractic what 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 even is this word? Impracticable platforms. I gotta look up what impractical means. Probably like out of reach. Uh also reduces fall damage. Oh wow, great. So these nerds can hang on ledges 500 feet above us and still drop and kill us without dying. This is amazing, people. Players will also be able to use their sidearm while ledge hanging. I guess that's pretty cool. I hating on that. Ledge hanging in COD. Climbing up walls in COD. Swinging on ropes into holes in buildings. Uh, wow. <laughs> so there we go, fellas. Sliding and bunny hopping. Oh, my goodness. You guys who watch my live comms over on Thunderstruck Gaming know that with the skill-based matchmaking, there's all my lobbies is a slide bunny hop fest. It looks like I'm, it looks like you're watching Cirque du Soleil when you watch my lobbies, man. People sliding, bunny hopping all over the place. Now they're going to be sliding, bunny hopping, dolphin diving, running around like Usain Bolt, climbing walls like Spider-Man, swinging into buildings like Batman. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Yo, it's going to be insane in 2022, fellas. Oh, I can't wait. This sounds like so much fun. Oh, man. I better make sure I have my anxiety and blood pressure medication on hand every time I play this. Uh, sliding has been revised, allowing players to now slide into prone position, as well as downed angled inches, uh, inclines, and slopes. Oh, man, this sounds great. You can now booty slide into a drop shot. <laughs> Dolphin dive to booty slide to <laughs> drop shot. Oh, my God, man. This is... I'll tell you what, man. If you guys don't have a scuff controller yet, you better get one. I'm not even partnered with them anymore. I got nothing to gain here. But this game just sounds like if you ain't got a scuff, especially with the forced ranked competitive play in pubs, you guys are just going to get annihilated. You guys got to go out and buy a $250 controller just to compete in this game. Oh, my God. So, bunny hopping is next. Another amazing mechanic that I see all the time in my lobbies that really adds to the experience. Bunny hopping is dependent on the height a player falls from. The greater the height, the more speed boost you will gain onto your bunny hop. Oh, my God, fellas. This... <laughs> I'm just going to end it right there. If you guys want to continue reading the rest of the article, go right ahead. But my goodness, man, that just sounds, uh, I, I'm telling you, this game going to make people rage like never before. Call of Duty, Mirror's Edge. You thought you were getting Modern Warfare 2. You're really getting modern Mirror's Edge. That's what, <laughs> that's what you're really getting. Anyway, fellas, if you guys were enjoying these sexy beats I had playing in the background, go check out my homies over at Soundstripe. Click the link in the description. Save 15%. Shout out to the homies at Soundstripe for providing the sexy beats. If you guys want to get beats like this for your videos or whatever, they have sound effects too. They got it all over at Soundstripe. Go check them out. So, what do you guys think about the movement system, man? Does it really sound like uh, old school Modern Warfare 2 Call of Duty? Sounds like new school modern Mirror's Edge Call of Duty. <laughs> Let me know what you think down in the comment section, fellas. You know me, man. Even with all this new mechanic stuff, I'm still going to be posted up on my Claymores and Shotgun, man. So, bring it. Bring all the dolphin diving, booty sliding, wall hanging, rope swinging, ladder climbing, park war, whatever you want to do. I'm still going to be chilling behind the door with my shotgun pointed at it, baby. So come on in, bitches. Come on in. <laughs> Modern Mirror's Edge coming soon, boys. Get ready. Tell you guys right now, man. This is shaping up to be the most sweaty cod we've ever played. 
with this movement system and with the more enhanced skill-based matchmaking, yo, this is going to be... You thought you knew what Sweat was? Wait, this game going to have the most WTF moments in mankind. Calling it right now. You're going to have dudes swinging into cracks and walls. Dudes climbing up walls like Spider-Man. Dudes strafing, juking all over the place like he's playing John Madden football. Dudes cli wall climbing up, <laughs> climbing up walls like Spider-Man. Dudes sliding into drop shots, bunny hopping, dolphin di atomic, atomic bunny hops off of walls. Yo, bring back the jetpacks, damn it! Just bring back the jetpacks already. You want <laughs> this game gonna have the most advanced movement we've ever seen? Most advanced movement and the most sweat. Bruh. I'm telling the truth. It's gonna be insane. I know people comment like, you ain't played it yet, Thunder. Come on now, bro. Did you read all that cheese? Go read the article in the description. Go look at what's coming. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, fellas, uh, is it still worth it for me? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But uh, if it's not worth it for you, don't play the game, man. Go play something else. It ain't worth this kind of stress, fellas. Go play, go play some Destiny 2. Destiny 2 is an amazing game right now. If you're looking for a fun shooter to play, I highly recommend Destiny 2. If you don't have to be playing this game, fellas, don't. Definitely not for an extra 10 bucks, too, man. The inflation, <laughs> the, inf the inflation in the movement system and the inflation in the skill-based matchmaking is what you should really be worried about. And they're going to hit you up for 10 extra dollars to do it. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, fellas, that's all I got. Let me know what you think about all this cheese down in the comment section. I'll see you on the next one.